No, you are not seeing double here. And this isn't some crazy video effect to look like you see two Denon cassette decks. There are, in fact, two Denon cassette decks here. This one on the top I found in a dumpster. It is a Denon DRS 610. It seems to be in pretty reasonably good condition, apart from the rather beat up volume knob. And underneath it is my Denon DRS 810, which needs a little TLC, as you can probably see. Now, I do have the um, cover for the tape door, but I'm not exactly sure where it is right now. But what I want to do is, because I think that these two are going to be pretty much identical on the inside, I want to see if I can use parts out of this to restore this. Of course, I could be completely wrong. I don't even know what kind of working condition this is in, after all. I did find this in a dumpster, so... I may even get lucky and find that there's nothing wrong with this. I know one thing I am going to have to change. And that's the wiring on this plug. I mean, just look at how they've done this. You're not supposed to have the wires coming out like that. The cord grip is supposed to grip this part of the wire, not this part. As a matter of fact, let's just have a look inside that plug. See how the Neanderthals have actually wired this up inside. Well, what do you know? They've actually connected neutral to neutral and live to live. But you're not supposed to use a 13 amp fuse for something like this. There. That's better, isn't it? If anything, I've got a free fuse out of this, so... Yeah, something. Okay, I think it's just about time to crack this thing open and see what lurks inside. Now, excuse the handheld camera here. The thing is, it's going to be much easier to do this on the bed. And while I could be using this camera, which, you know, this camera right here, which does have a better image quality. With this camera, I've got autofocus, which is going to be a really big help. Also, I cannot do this on the bench because, look at the bench. Yeah, it's a complete mess. That always explains why I haven't been doing much with the switch mode power supply experiments. <laughs> Excuse me. Now there's going to be quite a few jump cuts because, let's say when I'm undoing the screws and that, it's going to start off like this. And then, while I'm undoing the screw, I'm not going to be looking through the camera's viewfinder and the camera's going to slowly drift off, so what I'm doing is off-screen, so, yeah. Might be able to do these four screws, but I don't think you want to sit through me unscrewing all these screws, so, yeah. Well, this is a little different to how I expected. So, this is inside the 810. I don't know why they tag this little circuit board onto the cassette mechanism and it doesn't connect to anything on the cassette mechanism. There's no sensors or anything like that there, so yeah. I don't know why they just couldn't have put that on the main board, but yeah. Um, rambling again. And this is the 610. Looks like someone's done a little botch job here. Let's attach some audio leads onto there. bit like something I would have done. Yeah, um, you can see it's got a much smaller board. And I think this one may only be a two-head deck. There's even a tape in there. Whereas this one is a three-head deck. So, yeah, um, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. 
Don't worry, I'm pretty sure I can get this back together again. I have to clip a few wires off here so I can get, you know, get this nice and free. Let's see what we've got on the other side. Okay, well, this doesn't look as sophisticated as my 810. This appears to be only a single capstan. We do have two drive motors. There's our main capstan motor. And the motor that I presume is going to drive the tape reels. The belt is still on. Yeah, that's actually... Um, doesn't seem too bad. I think that might actually run. Well, I guess it's time to get this all back together now. Alright, I'm getting back together now. Yeah, I can only see one capstan in the tape transport. Let's get this little clip off. Well, hold a thingy. Whatever you want to call it. Okay, I did not expect that to spring up like that. Oh well, at least we can see inside the tape, tra tape transport now. And yeah, this only appears to be a two-head. Oh, those heads seem to be in pretty good condition. Don't feel any wear on the heads either. Capstan could do with a bit of a cleaning, but the heads themselves look spotless. Okay, well, it is mostly back together, except for this part, this spring and the top cover. Now, it is plugged in, but is it going to work? Is it going to blow up when I press the power button? Well, let's see. Well, let's see. We have signs of life. We have a VU meter, or a UV meter, as Cassette Master would say. All right, so I'm going to put a tape in. Let's see if this thing can open. And yes, I know I haven't put those two parts back in yet. I haven't got this connected to any amplifier at the moment. I just want to see if tapes will run at all. And no, it's getting stuck right there. Okay, well, that's a bit disappointing, after all, I did find this in the trash. I think maybe if I move this part out the way, it might help. And then again, maybe not. Actually, is this even attached anyway? I don't even know if that's even doing anything. Right, well, let's see if we can get the tape to go in. Ah, yep, yeah, the tape went in that time. Just gonna have to push it down with my hand. So, uh, yeah, let's see. Let's do fast forward. See if that works. Yep, yeah, we've got fast forward. Okay, rewind. Alright, that seems to be working. Alright, let's go play. Oh, would you look at that? I'd say we got a winner here. Is anything actually coming through? Is it? Yep, yeah, we got response on the VU meters there. I don't know what's actually on this tape, probably me being stupid, but. Who doesn't have tons of this brand of tape just laying around? Okay, so here's the tape deck, fully assembled. And that was my bottom. 
So I found out what this thing does, that is actually responsible for lifting this part up and down. So I'm going to put a tape in there. See if it will accept the tape. Bear in mind, I still don't have this connected to an amplifier. We will do that in just a moment. Tape's gone in without any trouble. We do the usual stuff, play. Yep. About fast forward and rewind. I well, know you can't see it, but you might be able to hear the tape going. Let's rewind. Well then, um, yeah, let's, uh, let's hook this up to an amplifier and see if it plays. Yeah, this is gonna, this is gonna make things a little bit difficult. Good idea. Yep. Oh, this is a good idea. Oh, wow. Just playing one of my tapes here, one of my comedy right. tapes, into the computer, making sure that it's going to be able to record from the tape. I'm Buy it with money? Yeah. I'm gonna rob a bank and then I'm gonna buy it. Oh. I thought you were actually turning nice for a moment. Don't ever scare me like that again, Ricky. Well, we know it plays. So, can it make a recording? That's what this is all about. So, I've got this connected to my computer's line in, so we can record from the tape. And I've also got this connected to the computer's line out, so we can record from the computer onto the tape. Okay, so I've got some music queued up in Modplug Tracker. I'm also going to try this with some chip tunes that I did on the Atari ST. Well, on an emulator, but you know, the, you know what I'm saying. Although before I press record on the tape recorder, I better just turn the listen off or we'll get insane amounts of feedback and we don't really want that. Alright, so start this on record. Alright. Let's see what the levels are. I'm sure the camera's not even pointing at it, but Alright, let's move that on a bit. Yep, I think that's about right. So, I'm going to record some music on this, and also some voice recording. And then I'm going to play this back into the computer, but I'm not going to bore you through the whole recording process, so you'll see this playing. So, first of all, let's just start that recording, make sure it's got past the leader. I'm going to start this playing. And I will be back momentarily. Okay. Well, let's see how that all went. Or rather, let's hear how that all went.
just about concludes the recording tests. Now, I was going to try and take some parts out of this and use that to fix the other Denon, but I really just don't think I need... I don't, um, just don't really want to now, because this cassette deck seems to be working pretty good. I mean, I could take the transport out of this Denon and transplant it into the other Denon, and I'm sure it would accommodate the three heads that that Denon has. But, you know, I really just don't want to do that. Because this thing works, and it's something I found in the trash. I didn't have to do anything to it. Well, apart from that little bodge that somebody did, but yeah. I really don't want to, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave this one as it is. Ah, uh, yeah, like I said, I think I might just leave this as it is. It does seem to be recording a little bit hot. I mean, when I was recording, the recording on the tape seems to be just a little bit louder than the, um, than what was coming in. But, yeah, apart from that, this is working really well. So, yeah, I'm just going to leave it like this. And try to find the parts that are missing out of the denim. The other denim, that is. You might have heard a little bit of noise in the recording. Well, that is not this. There is some weird noise that my computer puts out, which is really difficult to get rid of. Sometimes I don't even know it's there until I've started recording, so yeah. It's kind of too late when I started that recording. Anyway, my oscilloscope has a bug. I put the cover for the other Denon on this one because, although it's rather banged up, it's got a sticker on it saying, I've passed! And well, it has. So, until next time, goodbye. I hate the sun right now. Because when the weather's cloudy, I can actually get on with my stuff. Want cloudy weather, so what do we get? Sun. It's a grey day, so what do we get? Sun. It's cloudy, so what do we get? Sun. It says snowing right now, so what do we get? Sun. Sun, 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 sun. What the hell? So it's night right now. Guess what's going to happen? God damn it.